we're going to go over the John Deere 1590 Farmers of the Lenoir Valley Juneau County Land and Conservation Rental. So we have two um, hydraulic hoses. We have our pressure is labeled uh, so you know which one's which. When you do uh, use it, you have to run your lever in flow position. It has a seven prong, um, round prong plug for your lights, um, safety chains and stuff for towing. Then as you come back here, here's the hydraulic adjustment. When you're towing, this valve should be in the off position over here. Uh, then when you want to go to use it, you can open it up. And then you want to keep your pressure with your hydraulic lever forward so that it's looping fluid um, all the time. And you want to adjust that pressure here to keep it right around that 500 in the green range, um, depending on what you're trying to do, how hard or soft your soil conditions are. Right in here, some of your first adjustments. Right in here, this adjusts for the seed size, depending on what you're planting to keep your population correct with the seed chart. Top notch is for the small grains, for your barley, your oat, and then as you move it down, um, it gets bigger. So as you get into soybeans, you can adjust it for your soybean size. It is listed in the manual, what setting per seed that you would wanna choose. And you have to adjust it on each uh, seed cup as you go along for each row unit. Then we have this adjustment here adjust the press wheel in the back which is right back there for pressing the seed uh, in the trench as you go the further up you go so each notch back towards the back of the drill makes it press harder and then obviously as you come forward it gets shallower then this is our gauge for our depth for our gauge wheel here this adjusts that so you pull up and adjust it and it has to sit sideways in the two notches Right now I have it set on the shallowest setting at a half an inch. As you come forward on the drill, it'll get deeper all the way up to three and a half uh, inches deep is how deep it will plant. It does take a lot of power if you're gonna plant it that deep. Um, but other than that, it's a great adjustment. It works really well. It's really accurate. Uh, sometimes when you have some of these are not as accurate as they say, this one is really accurate. So right now we're set to about an inch and it works really good. The last adjustment for the row unit is right here. This will adjust, you can see the notches. The further up you come, the more pressure it'll apply on this back closing wheel, spike closing wheel. Further down you go, the less pressure it'll apply on that closing wheel. Adjust that to how you would like condition line. Then there is our gauge for seed, whether it's full or empty. It's right here on the right hand side. Over here on the right side of the rear of the drill is the engage disengage for transport, for the drive of the seed boxes. All the way to the left will engage for planting and all the way to the right will disengage for transport. You wanna have that disengage anytime you're traveling uh, with the drill, whether that be in between fields or down the road, especially to make sure we're not driving all of our mechanisms unnecessarily. There is a engage disengage clutch right here, which drives our small green seed box um, for all of our grass seeds. And all you do is give it a twist, so now it would be engaged. Clutch would grab as it goes, or you just give it a twist back to disengage if you're not going to use it. Up here is the adjustment for our pounds per acre for the seed, for the small grass seed box. There's a chart located just up inside the seed box there as well. It's pounds per acre versus, you know, the opening of our seed feed here. So then we have the one for the main seed box as well. Right now we're running about, I have it set to about 37 running, trying to be right about 100 pounds to the acre with oats. There's a seed chart for that as well inside the lid of the main box, um, which we'll go up and take a look at now. We have our seed chart listed here. You locate the seed that you want to plant, come over to the amount of pounds you want to plant, and then take a look up to see how many notches in the seed index you have to have it open for a seven and a half inch spacing. Inside the grass seed one is the other grass seed chart. Same situation, locate the kind of grass seed you're going to plant, the amount of pounds per acre you'd like to apply, and then the notches on the seed index. That's the how-to video of the new uh, Juneau County Land and Conservation uh, 1590 no-till drill, 10-foot 
Um, it works great. It's on the dolly wheels for transport. The compaction factor with it because of it uh, is excellent. It floats really nice. It is heavy, so it does a good job when it comes to being no till sinking into the soil but it's really low disturbance uh, so far we really like it we've only got a few acres under our belt but hopefully this video helps anybody who's uh, going to use it and you guys can enjoy it and if you have more questions you can contact the junior county land and conservation office and we can help you after that